Good morning, children. So, in the previous class, I had uh, done till here. Okay, these two were your homework. Now, we shall continue from here. So, the next question that I will do is this show that f of x is defined as this, where this means greatest integer function is not differentiable at x equal to 1. So, what does this denote? I have written over here. Okay, so this function is the greatest integer function. Okay, not greater than x. Like you can see, if you have one point five, then your output will be one. Okay, because this is not an integer. Okay, so this will give you an integer which is not greater than this. Okay, that means you will not get two. In fact, you will get 1, okay, because great, greatest integer, not greater than x, okay, this is how it is defined. So, 1 point, minus 1.5 will give you minus 2, okay, because minus 2 is less than minus 1.5. 2 is an integer, so you will get 2 only. Minus 1 is an integer, you will get exactly minus 1, okay. So, let us see, here we have to show that this is not differentiable at x equal to 1, okay. So, for this we will find its left hand derivative, right hand derivative and we will see solution left hand derivative at 1 limit h tends to this f of 1 minus h minus f of 1 upon minus h. So, see over here, and here h is h is positive, okay, is positive and close to 0, that is this will be 0 point something something, yes. So, here 1 minus h means you will get 0 point something, yes. So, Firstly, let me write f of 1 minus h will be this and f of 1 will be done. As I said, h is positive and very small that means close to 0. So, 1 minus h, okay, this will be less than 1 and greater than 0, okay. So, this will be equal to 0 in that case, ok. So, we will get limit and here we will get 0 and this is this is an integer. So, we will get 1 only. One upon h and 1 by 0 will be infinity, ok. Now, we will find the right hand limit. Sorry, right hand derivative. Now, here this is Okay, firstly let me write like this. 1 plus h minus this. So, here 1 plus h, okay, that means it is 1 point something, okay, this, this value is 1 point something. So, you know that this is greatest integer not greater than x. Like if you have something 1 point something, then your answer will be 1 only, ok. So, here we get limit h tends to this and this will be simply 1 here also 1. So, you are getting 0, ok. So, here we observe that that right hand derivative therefore, right hand derivative 
not equal to left hand derivative okay hence f of x is not differentiable at x equal to 1 okay okay see this question now show that f of x equal to mod x minus 2 is continuous but not differentiable at x equal to 2 so we have to show that this function is continuous at x equal to 2 but not differentiable at x equal to 2 so see here given f of x is equal to mod x minus this and the given point is is x equal to 2 now firstly we will check for continuity okay whether this is continuous at x equal to 2 or not okay so f of x will be continuous at x equal to 2 if limit x tends to 2 f of x is equal to f of 2 so i'll find limit okay and this f of 2 separately so f of 2 will be how much zero this is mod okay don't think this is 101 this is mod zero okay and limit so if you want to find your left hand limit and right hand limit separately you can find that also okay so let's find left hand and right hand separately so limit you can find directly also you'll get zero okay so here left hand limit okay So if you put h equal to 0 then you will get 0 only and the right hand limit you will get 0 ok. So, therefore, you can see that limit your left hand limit, your right hand limit, and the functional value at 2 all equal. Yes, hence f of x that is mod x minus 2 is continuous at x equal to 2 okay so it's proved that it is continuous at x equal to 2 now we'll show it is not differentiable at x equal to 2 so now left hand derivative limit h tends to this f of 2 minus h minus f of 2 upon minus h so we will get limit this will be f of 2 will be 0 So you'll get limit mod minus h upon minus h. So h is positive and here negative sign is there in front. So mod will be you'll get positive value only. Okay. 
so we'll get limit h tends to this mod minus h will come h simply okay and here minus h so you'll get limit h tends to this h h cancel you are left with minus 1 that is minus 1 okay so left hand derivative you got minus 1 now we'll find the right hand derivative right hand derivative So here you get one, okay, because mod h is h only and h upon h one. So that will be equal to 1. So here we saw that right hand derivative is 1 and left hand derivative is minus 1. Therefore, they are not equal. Therefore, right hand derivative not equal to left hand derivative. Hence, f of x equal to this is not differentiable at x equal to 2 okay so this is an example uh, where you can say that if a function is continuous then it's not necessary that that is going to be differentiable at that point also okay so this is done Okay, next question is question number 8 from exercise 7-1. Here it says, for what value of lambda, the function defined as this is continuous at x equal to 0. Hence, check the differentiability of fx at x equal to 0. So, this is the function given to you. For x less than or equal to 0, it is defined like this. For x greater than 0, it is defined as 4x plus 6. Now, we have to find the value of lambda so that this function becomes continuous at x equal to 0 okay and then with we have to substitute that value of lambda over here and whatever function we get after that we have to check whether that function is differentiable at x equal to 0 or not okay so let's see solution fx will be continuous at x equal to 0 if left hand limit is equal to right hand limit is equal to f of 0 okay so now we'll find this separately now f of 0 okay so you can see for f of 0 we have to take this one okay because for x equal to 0 this is how it is defined so we'll have lambda x square plus 2 that means 0 plus 2 so we are getting 2 lambda okay then left hand limit limit x tends to 0 f of x you can write like this limit h tends to 0 f of 0 minus h so for you can see 0 minus h means less than 0 so for less than 0 we have to take this one only okay so we'll get limit h tends to 0 and here we'll get lambda minus h whole square 
plus 2. So if you put h equal to 0, then you'll get 2 lambda. Okay. And the right hand limit, so here left hand limit and here right hand limit for x greater than 0 it is defined as 4x plus 6 so we will have 4h plus 6 if I put h equal to 0 then I will get 6 ok now suppose this was 1 ok this was 1 so we will put these values in 1 ok now from 1 now from 1 left hand limit 2 lambda is equal to right hand limit 6 is equal to the functional value okay and that is also 2 lambda so that means 6 equal to 2 lambda so lambda equal to 3 okay so you got lambda equal to 3 now we can rewrite the function using this value lambda okay so now fx will become this in place of lambda we will write 3 then x square plus 2 and here 4x plus 6 x less than equal to 0 and x greater than oh sorry greater than 0 ok is continuous ok at x equal to 0 now we have to show or, or we have to okay we have to check whether this is differentiable at x equal to 0 or not okay so now see now we will find the left hand derivative at this So f of 0 minus h means f of minus h less than 0. So we have to use this. Okay. So we will get 3 and here this will become h square plus 2 and this will be your simply 6 here minus h. Limit 3h square plus 6 minus 6 minus h so we will get limit plus 6 minus 6 cancel here 3h square upon minus h so we get minus 3h ok so this will come 0 done now we will find the right hand derivative ok right hand derivative limit h tends to this f of 0 plus this minus this 0 is not this 0 ok this 0 is this one now here you can see f of h it's more than greater than 0 ok so for greater than 0 function is defined as 4x plus 6 so we'll have 4h plus 6 and for this f of 0 will get 6 and here h so plus 6 minus 6 cancel h is cancelled we are left with 4 you get 4 that is equal to 4 therefore your right hand derivative 
is not equal to left hand derivative okay hence f of x is not differentiable at x equal to 0 done okay so this would be the last question for this chapter question number 10 here it says find the value of a and b if the function f defined by this is differentiable at x equal to 3 so they are saying that this function is differentiable at x equal to 3 now find the value for a and b okay so whenever they say that function is differentiable then automatically it should come to your mind that this is continuous also okay if a function is differentiable then it is continuous so whenever you get a question of this type where you have you are being asked to find uh, a and b okay if it is differentiable then in most of the cases you have to use that continuity also so since it is differentiable so it is continuous also so see over here because here you can see we have a and b yes so we should have a simultaneous equation to solve a and b okay to get the value for a and b see over here so as f of or as second as f is differentiable at x equal to 3 hence it is continuous at x equal to at x equal to 3 as f is differentiable at x equal to 3 hence it is continuous at this so since it is continuous so the left hand limit is equal to right hand limit is equal to f of 3 put this as 1 now I will find this separately okay so f of 3 will be equal to for that we have to use this one okay x greater than equal to 3 so we have to use this bx square minus 3 so we'll get b 3 square and minus 3 so we get 9b minus 3 okay and then we'll find the left hand limit and the right hand limit so left hand limit So here 3 minus h means x is less than 3 for x less than 3 we have this ax square ax square minus bx plus 2 this is how it is defined for x less than 3 so we will get a 3 minus h whole square minus b 3 minus h 3 minus h plus 2 so we have to simplify this now okay so here okay so so here you can see that if you put h equal to 0 no then you are getting a definite value yes 
So, straight we can get this. So, here if you put h equal to 0, then we will get a 3 minus 0 square minus b 3 minus 0 plus this. So, here you get 9a minus 3b plus 2. Okay. So, you got this left hand limit. Then find the right hand limit. So, limit extends to this. plus h and for x greater than 3 it is defined as for x greater than 3 it is defined as bx square minus 3 okay so we will get over here b 3 plus h whole square minus 3 okay here you can see that if you put h equal to 0, then you are getting a definite value. So, you will get b 3 plus 0 whole square minus 3. So, you will get 9b minus this. Okay. So, you have got the functional value, left hand limit, right hand limit. So, now from 1, okay, from 1, left hand limit is 9a minus 3b plus 2 right hand limit is 9b minus 3 and the functional value is also 9b minus 3 so 9a minus 3b plus 2 is equal to 9b minus 3 so you get 9a minus this 9b will come this side okay so you will get minus 12b and this side you will get minus 5 okay you can put this as equation 2 now what we are going to do is since it is differentiable at x equal to 3 so we will find the left hand derivative and right hand derivative and as it is differentiable, so both the left and the right derivatives have to be equal, okay. And from there, we will get one equation. Next, left hand derivative at 3. So, limit h tends to this f of 3 minus h minus f of 3 upon minus h. 3 minus h means less than 3 so we get here we have to use this one ax square minus bx plus 2 okay so we will get a 3 minus h whole square minus b 3 minus h plus 2 and for f of 3 f of 3 we will get 9b minus 3 minus h clearly you can see that if you put h equal to 0 then you will get undefined okay so we have to simplify it further here 3 minus h whole square so we will get 9 minus 6 h plus h square here you can open the bracket 3 b plus b h plus 2 minus 9 b plus 3 and down minus h And here 9a minus 6h plus h square and this minus 3b and this minus 9b will become minus 12b 
and this plus bh and plus 5 minus h. Next line we can write limit h tends to this 9a minus 12b we can put it together the reason is here you can see that 9a minus 12b is equal to minus 5 so i want to in place of 9a minus 12b we can put minus 5 over there okay so then minus 6ah plus ah square plus bh plus 5 upon minus h so limit h tends to this and for this i can put minus 5 you can give reason over here form 2 okay so in the next step minus 5 plus 5 cancel this h will cancel in each term okay so you will get you will get uh, 6a minus okay instead of writing like this we can write one more step done then you get 6a here you get minus a h and here you get minus b okay so you'll get 6a minus b okay so this is your left hand derivative now we will find the right hand derivative okay so here you can see that when we are finding this left hand derivative this uh, this result was used and this result came due to the fact that differential function is continuous okay so that's why that is important now let us find the right hand derivative so now right hand derivative right hand derivative at 3 limit h tends to this f of 3 plus h minus f of 3 upon plus h here we have 3 plus h that means greater than 3 and for that it is defined like this b x square minus 3 so we will get b 3 plus h whole square minus and this f of 3 is equal to 9b minus 3 done now if you put h equal to 0 then it is not defined so we'll expand so we'll get b and here 9 6h h square minus 9b plus 3 and here h limit 9b plus 6 bh plus bh square minus 9b plus 3 and here h okay so i think here we have missed out something for x greater than for x greater than 3 it is defined as b x square minus 3 yes so here we wrote b and this but minus 3 is missing over here okay minus 3 is missing so minus 3 is missing so 
minus 3 and here 9b plus 3 okay now simplify it so you see that minus 3 plus 3 cancelled minus 9b plus 9b cancelled and you will get this 6b plus bh now if you put h equal to 0 you will get 6b okay so we got the left hand derivative and the right hand derivative but as this is differentiable this function is differentiable at x equal to 3 therefore this left hand derivative is equal to right hand derivative so as f is differentiable at x equal to 3 therefore left hand derivative is equal to right hand derivative okay so left hand derivative was 6a minus b and the right hand derivative we got 6b okay so here we will get 6a is equal to 7b okay and then a will be 7b by 6 okay now put this 3 okay now we will put uh, the value of a in 2 okay so we will write put a equal to 7b by 6 in 2 then okay so our 2 was 9a minus 12b is equal to minus 5 so I will put this done and then we get 3 3 is a 9 3 2 is a 6 so you will get 21b and you will get 2 done now you will get and here minus 10 okay and then minus 3 okay yeah here. here you will get minus 3 b is equal to minus 10 so this implies b is equal to 10 by 3 okay so you got the value for b now you can use this value of b in 3 okay to get a then a will be equal to 7b upon 6 so you get 7 and in place of b we will write once again so here 7 6 and for b you have to write 10 by 3 so you will get this ok so here you, you can cancel also like here 2 3 is a and here 5 is a so 35 upon 9 ok so therefore a is equal to 35 by 9 and b is equal to 10 by 3 ok so you got the answer for a and b so with this this chapter gets over ok differentiability topic gets over and before we end let me give you one question of similar type okay what we did just now okay so this is the homework for you find the value find the value of a and b so that the function this is differentiable at each x belongs to r okay so if it is differentiable then it is continuous okay 
So you have to do same as what we have done just now. Okay. So try it by yourself. And with this, this chapter gets over. In the next class, we shall do new chapter. Okay.